Okay, um, I'm going to do a short video about mixing. And I'm not mixing colors. Um, the way to get a lot of fresh watercolors is to mix on the paper, with the paper to it. So, um, basically, I'm trying to get the right consistency of water to paint. Um, so that's something you learn by experience, and um, there's different ways to think about it. So I'm picking up, I'm dipping my brush in water to get water on my brush. Now I'm going to pick up some paint from my palette. Now I should have a clean palette here. I see there's a little color on there. So I'm going to clean that up. Um, one thing to remember is it's going to be easier to see what color you have if you have a white palette background, um, but you can also test it on a piece of test paper, which I have here. So always test your paper, have a piece of test paper next to what you're working on. So I want to mix up a lot of paint. You can see this is kind of thin and as I dip in for more color it's going to get darker. Now what consistency do you want? If it's really thick like this um, then it's going to be a much darker color when you put it on the paper, more saturated. But also, my brush is still really wet. So here's what happens when I do that. Now, I guess, you know, I've told a way to think about this is consistency of milk, cream, skim milk. So, um, I think that's milk. So if you see over here on this side, I added more water into the solution. And now I'm going to see a different shade. So these are different values of the same color, that being much darker. If I go even further, adding more water, I'm going to get a much lighter shade. So, I mean, that's a way to see the difference. Now, if I have paint straight out of the tube, that's... Um, that's even a higher consistency. This would be, probably be cream when I'm picking up here. It's very thick. So, the, so see how much darker that is and we're consistently darker. So if you want, you can practice mixing up different shades. Um, we are going to be using this in the next project. Um, now the other thing you think about is not only how much water to paint we have here, but how much, how, how wet is your brush. So I could have a very thin consistency that's already been mixed up with a lot of water, but my brush might be too wet for what I'm doing. So I could pick up with the paper towel. Now, it's the same value that I put down, it's just that my brush is not super wet. Um, so, you do add more water to this and then dampen it. You don't dampen it and then pick up more water, you just dampen it to pick off excess moisture from your brush. So if you pick up a lot of extra moisture, you end up with what's called dry brush. You see how that texture is? Uh, so sometimes you might want to do that on purpose. So that's basically, you know, it's talking about cream, milk, skim milk. It's one way to think about it. Um, I generally just, you know, judge by the color it looks on the palette, the value that it looks, and then test my paper. And then if it's too wet, just dampen, pick up extra moisture off your brush, 
and you'll still have the same value on on your paper because you've already mixed it. So the other rule is mix up enough color on your palette to think you're going to use it. So if you have a big area, be sure to mix up more color than you think you need because if you run out of color and you start mixing up paint, you might not get the right shade, uh, same shade as you had before. Um, so uh, it's just the basic stuff. If, you know, don't worry about it. If you know, you'll, you'll as you go, you will do more. So our next project, we're going to play with this idea, and then the idea that these are transparent, and then we layer when we layer colors on top of each other after they're dry you get another color underneath. So that's what we're going to play with in this next exercise. So I just mixed up a lot of blue. See how intense the blue is. So I think that's not quite dry, but that's what we have a hair dryer for. But I'm just going to layer over it even though it's not totally dry. You can see the effect. It's it's you know you can still see the other shape underneath. Yeah, this is looks transparent over top. So that's um you know the thickness of the paint, consistency of paint, and wood on your brush, moisture on your brush. 